Hello, everybody. Welcome to the RPA Vanguard channel. My name is Andy Menon. Uh, in this video, we are going to be uh, talking about the simple concept of how to work with line breaks in UiPath apps. Let's get started. Okay, a few days ago, uh, there was a question posted to the forums on how to append text from multiple text boxes as new lines. Uh, basically what this question uh, meant was, how do we add uh, line breaks between data, right? So what I did was I responded to that question with a possible solution and that was found to be acceptable and was marked as solved. Now comes the question. Uh, why do you want to make a video if you have already solved the question on the forums, right? Um, there are a couple of reasons for that. Uh, the first reason is not everybody looks through the forums to get an answer, right? They might look uh, for videos or uh, other blog articles, et cetera, et cetera. That's uh, one reason. The second reason is uh, when you are posting solutions to forums, you are responding to just that problem in isolation, right? In this case, how do you add line breaks to data in UiPath apps, right? That's the point in isolation you're responding to. But I wanted to go a little beyond that and it got me thinking, uh, how would it work if I used it in an actual uh, solution, right? Uh, what I mean by that is if I create data with line breaks in an app and then store that data in a backend data service entity, right? And after some time, if I read that data back from data service entity, uh, whether those line breaks will be consistently uh, read back, right? So basically, can I create data with line breaks and can I read that data back with line breaks consistently, right? So therefore, I wanted to build a small prototype application uh, to make sure that when we use this uh, solution uh, to the problem of adding line breaks, uh, it would work uh, in a, in a full-fledged solution. And uh, this is the solution uh, that, uh, that I've created uh, in the UiPath App Studio. Uh, basically, it's a very simple prototype. Uh, what it does is it has an input side and it has a uh, output side. And between the two is a data table, right? And this app is integrated uh, with a backend data service entity, right? Now, what the user can do is add multi-line data to this text box here, right? And uh, it can happen in a couple of ways. One is you could type a line in here and click the append line button to add as many lines as you need. And each line you add uh, will be separated by a line break. Uh, the second method is to add uh, the lines directly here. You create the manual line breaks yourself and you add the content here. The third is a mixed approach. Uh, basically, you can add it as a combination of using the append line function and also manually typing in the line breaks, right? So what I'm going to do is run a series of three tests, right, to show you how the app works. And then I'm going to focus on only the line break part of uh, the solution because everything else here uh, would be familiar to you if you have already watched other videos on UiPath apps, or if you have watched uh, the uh, videos on UiPath apps uh, on this channel. And therefore, I'm not going to go into too much detail uh, about those aspects, right? So with that, let me run uh, the first test. In this first test, I will be adding line breaks by using this input text field and the append line button. Next, I'm going to click on this button. And when I click this button, this data is going to be persisted uh, to a backend data service entity. And that backend data service entity has got a single user defined column named data with line breaks, right? So when I click this button, you must see the data appearing here in uh, this data table.
Now, this is the demo of data going in. And now I want to see if the data that was added here, right, uh, has those line breaks. It looks like it's been stored as a single line. So we must test that out to make sure that all the line breaks that we added here uh, are going to be read back consistently, right? So what I'll do is I'm going to select this record and I'm going to click on this button. And when I click this button, this data is going to be read back into this output text area box. And here it can be seen that both pieces of data are identical, right? That means the line breaks that we are storing uh, in the data service entity uh, will be read back consistently. For the second test, I'm going to create the data myself, and I'm going to type that data in uh, right here in this input box. And here is the data. I'm going to click on it. And there it is. Now for the third test, uh, this is something that you might not do in practice, but I just want to demonstrate the effectiveness of this solution. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using a combination of test one and test two, meaning I'll be adding data partly by using append line and then partly by using uh, manually created text inside this box. I'm going to add in a couple of line breaks. And then I'm going to say, as usual, I'm going to select this record and read it back. Uh, next, let's hop back into UiPath Studio and just cover uh, the, uh, the concept of the line break. I'm back in studio and uh, this is the app that you just saw in action. And uh, the concept is pretty simple. This is a single line uh, input uh, text box. It is bound to a variable named var single line. Uh, and the variable name is descriptive of what that means. Anything that you enter in this uh, in, in this text box represents a single line. And then we have a text area box that's bound to a variable named multi-line, right? Uh, what that means is several single line pieces of data are appended together with line breaks to make multi-line data, right? And in between the two is the append line button. And what the append line does, as you saw, is take the single line data and append it to the data that's already existing in this text area box. So we haven't spoken about the, uh, the line break yet. So where is the line break? Uh, basically, if you go to the main page and get into the uh, load event, uh, there is a variable named var line break. And obviously, um, it represents a line break. And uh, one of the things uh, with apps is that uh, when you set variable values, uh, you really can't use the enter key, right? If I want to now um, hit the enter key on my keyboard, you see you don't get a line break, right? So how do you create the representation of a line break? Uh, basically, you go back into Notepad and you type in something like this, right? So what I do is equal to open quotes, close quotes, right? And then I take everything after the equal to, copy it, uh, get back into the set variable value. And I'm going to delete what I typed in earlier. And I paste the value from Notepad, right? Uh, that is pretty much it. That is how you create the representation of a line break. And this will be the variable that you will be using to take single line data and then append the single line data uh, with line breaks in between, right? So that's the first step, right? You initialize the line break representation in the main page load event, right? And then as usual is the case, uh, you, uh, you initialize the other variables as needed. And then 
you know, uh, that's pretty much what happens when the app loads. Uh, the next uh, important uh, piece of functionality here is the append line button, right? So I take the append line button and get into the clicked event. And what this append line button does is basically take the multi-line variable. There is another app variable called multi-line. Uh, and this is bound to that text area box on the left. And it essentially concatenates um, multi-line um, a variable with uh, the single line data and then adds a line break. Now the next uh, piece of functionality is the add text with line breaks to data uh, service entity below. Uh, it is very simple because here you see that this, away, uh, this uh, text area box is bound to the var multi-line. So when you go into this uh, button and get into the clicked event. This is pretty much uh, what you need to do to, uh, to store your multi-line data into your backend uh, data service entity, right? Uh, you point it to multi-line content entity. There is a field called data with line breaks, and then you update this field with var multi-line. So this completes the input side of it. Uh, reading back data is pretty simple because when the user clicks on a record uh, on this data table, right? Uh, this data table uh, has an attribute called data table dot selected value, right? Basically the record that you select gets assigned uh, to that selected value, right? So when the user clicks on the data table and then clicks this button, So what happens in this event handler is uh, you have another variable called multi-line data from data service. Basically, it indicates that you're reading back data from the data service. And then you're updating this variable uh, with the selected record uh, from the data table. Essentially, you're getting into the data table control main page and then data table you have the selected value attribute of data table and you're taking data with line breaks and dragging it into the value field. And once you do that, this data shows up in the output box because this output text area box is bound to the variable var multi-line data from data service. That's pretty much how the readback happens. And that is pretty much it, right? So this app demonstrates that the solution uh, to use uh, line breaks uh, with data generated from uh, UiPath apps uh, can be stored uh, effectively in a backend medium and then read back consistently. Uh, and when the data is read back, um, the line breaks that you have added to your content are preserved uh, during the entire course of uh, the data transaction uh, from the app to the data service and back. And that is all for this video. I hope you learned something new and I definitely hope that you will find this concept useful when you build your own apps. Uh, if you like the content on this channel, please do like and subscribe to the RPA Vanguard channel. I'll truly appreciate it. Thank you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.